Ah, sunshine. When you're in Dhaka, you're always looking up and the clouds are never too far away, but you squeeze the sunshine in to get ready to say what you want to. And I want to talk today in this blog about one of the more fascinating Indian players. You don't hear too much about him. People talk about the Kohlis and the Rohits and the Dhonis and then people even talk about the Rahanes and the Pujaras. But nobody talks about the player who scored more runs than any other Indian batsman in Test cricket over the last year, year and a half. And it's been wonderful to see Murli Vijay come back to Indian cricket. He's had, uh, he's had a very unusual past, leaving home at 17, just wandering around trying to make somebody out of himself. And such people tend to be stronger. There was lots of talk about what was happening in his life even after he had played for India. But you look at him now and the one thing that strikes you is that Murli Vijay is at peace. I'm a huge believer that the state of mind that you're in, both on the field and off the field, is a very powerful determinant of how you play on it. And you just think that Murli Vijay is in a good place at the moment. And you see that in the way he's batting as well. He's patient. Sometimes you look at stats, you look at strike rates, you look at boundaries, you look at all those things. And then in Test cricket, there's one stat that stands out. Left the ball. If you leave a good ball, you're around when the bad ball comes. And I think one of the reasons Murli Vijay has scored more runs than anybody else is that he's known which ball to leave and so he's around when, uh, when, when the bad ball comes. And he's a classical batsman. He's, he, he seems to be very unconcerned by what other people are doing around him. And it's a good trade for an opening batsman. I, I'd like to think that the Gavaskars of the world were a bit like that as well. Maybe Rahul Dravid as well. I mean, I remember that opening partnership, Dravid and Saivag batting together, 410. Dravid made 120 odd out of those. Even here in Dhaka, Shikhar Dhawan off like a train after the first couple of overs and scoring at runner ball. Murli Vijay scoring at exactly half the rate. But it didn't matter because I think he knows what his role exactly is. What I also like about him is for a long time, I thought, Here's someone who's going to be a very good T20 player. He'd wear the yellow of Chennai Super Kings. He was man of the series, a man of the final of the Champions League. He was a wonderful T20 player. And then all of a sudden, I think he's decided that he wants to be maybe a higher cricketer. I don't know if you can actually say that, but a different kind of cricketer. To the extent that he's actually lost his place, I think he'll be a very good T20 player when he comes back. But once he's gone to another phase in life, but he's become an outstanding test match batsman. He's the kind of batsman he goes in, number three feels good, number four feels good. So no fuss about Murli Vijay. I think it's best that way, but very calm, very solid, and someone I think India look forward to over the next 12, 18 months. If you want to stay up to date with all my video blogs, hit the subscribe button.